Hello, Tex Andrews with the Light Zone Project, and here's our last video on tool anatomy, and this is about putting it all together. We're just going to give an example of how all these things can combine with one another, so let's get right to it. So we know that if we use this hue saturation tool with this image and we jump the saturation up, we get that. Bring it back to zero. Now let's take an eyedropper tool. Let's just select this yellow, this bright yellow here. There it appears right there. Let's go saturate it. And you should be able to see that some of these yellows have popped up. There's a little bit up here in this hedge. There's a little bit in the grass. It may be not so obvious in the video on YouTube. Notice, please, that when we selected this yellow, the luminosity range sliders automatically went to the area of the grayscale that corresponds to this yellow color luminosity wise. If we increase the range and undo that, then you see that the, we have broadened the color spectrum that is being affected by the hue saturation. And now uh, the top of the hedge is getting a lot of uh, saturation. The grass here is. But because this is yellow, it's still selecting just things in the yellow range. So look at the blue sky. It really hasn't been affected. The purple tulips here have not been affected either. If we click back on the luminosity, you will note that the effects are much more subtle now in the grass because it hasn't picked up all of the grass, just small areas like this one. Let me boost that up just a little bit. might see it a little bit better. And areas of the hedge like this. I'll turn off the hue saturation tool altogether. And now you see the effect when I disable the tool altogether. I'm re-enabling it. Now, if I deselect the yellow, I've still got a range of luminosity here. I have increased this range to its broadest possible level. I can move this luminosity slider down and note how it affects a different part of the image. So if I'm just using the luminosity slider, you can see that only certain parts of the image are being affected. If I click back on the yellow to activate that, now we've changed once again. So now both of these things are working in concert with one another. But once again, if we hit the invert, now everything but this luminosity range and the yellow has been affected. So look what's happened up here at the sky. Look at the tulips. Look at these pinks. As you can see, the yellows, on the other hand, have been relatively unaffected. Let's go back and uninvert that. But you must remember, now you also can go back to the Tool Settings tab. So if we go we're right now in normal blending mode, um, let's go to Hard Light, for instance. Well, look at that. That's changed the contrast here and probably to pretty good effect. You can go through different blending modes. Let's try Color Dodge and look at what that does. Too harsh an effect? Well, we can reduce the Tool Opacity slider and reduce the effect. Now, here on the Tool Settings tab, the Tool Opacity slider is also reducing the effect of the Color Selection tab and the saturation up here. It's having a global effect on the entire tool. So remember that. But remember that we can also now add a region if we want. And so let's say we just want to affect this section of the grass and not anything else. I draw my region. I'm not going to play around with the feathering too much. Now we just have this effect going on in the grass. I'll increase the tool opacity so you can see it better. Oh, but of course, we could also invert this mask. And now everything outside this region is being affected. But we can go back over here to the color selection tab. We can invert this. So now a whole different effect is taking place. So you see all of these things 
working together with one another give you all kinds of possibilities of how to control color, contrast, all kinds of things with one tool. Imagine, those of you who are interested in special sharpening effects, what you could do with a simple tool like Light Zone Sharpener. This is a pretty vanilla sharpener, but imagine using the Color Selection tab and the Tool Settings tab plus regions to create special sharpening effects for only portions of your image. That's the power of Light Zone. You can mix and match all these things together. Each tool works separately as its own layer and independently acts on the image. You can select and deselect tools. You can use blending modes. You can you slide your tool opacity slider back and forth. You can invert a mask. You can use masks. You cannot use masks. So many possibilities. Really, your imagination is your only obstacle. Thank you for watching these videos.